Okay, it's time to start recovering ships. Again, I have 8,152,295 units and 3,273 nanites. The first thing you do, uh, you pick a good system. I picked one that I want to explore more and has six planets. And actually because it's stable, I expect, you notice the conflict level is stable. When I recover ships, it probably, I won't have to run into too much trouble. All right, go to the map person. Okay, he's surrounded by charts for a reason. All right, exchange specific charts. And you want emergency cartographic data. So let's get like, I don't know, like 20 of these. Okay, there'll be emergency signals. Those will be for the crash ships. We'll explore the planets a little bit while we're doing this. Okay, let's, let's just head out of the space station. Okay, if you go tab, go to your 20 charts, press E to plot route. signal booster to look around the planet a little bit. The signal booster will sometimes show you crash ships also. And we could use uh, those pods to expand our inventory, which also we'll find some. I mean, part of the fun here will be just to explore the planet and build up our inventory of stuff a little bit. I'll edit out some of these buildings, most likely. And a lot of times there's an automatic landing pad so you don't have to spend anything. I try to land near this. Uh, and we'll scan stuff on the planet too. If you happen to get all the creatures on some of these, That's 152,000 right there. For uh, toxic hazard protection, we refill with ammonia. So we can sure use some ammonia to refill this. Notice in the lower right hand, it's counting how many creatures we have. Go around the ship so we can see that. Ammonia. Returning user identified, terminal now active, unlocking, unlocking data log, continuation for analysis. I awoke from a dream where I was drowning in something thick and 
gluttonous. It filled my pores and suffocated me. I want to believe that this is my tired mind playing tricks. I've been so long without deep sleep. The crimson spear shimmers at the corner of my eye whenever I try to rest. I cannot comprehend how it tracks my spore from world to world. Or is it that I am following it? The orb cannot be in all places at once. That cannot be. I discover something coded, left to aid me on my journey, and I get nanites. So you see, while I'm looking for the ships, I will be doing other stuff. You see that there? signal booster to explore the planet. Specter, whatever his name is, Echopus. Echopus. No idea what this guy is saying. But he's happily trotting around the exposed terrain, apparently oblivious to the toxic atmosphere. They seem excited to greet me and, for their own inscrutable reasons, freely recharge my hazard protection. He waves away my thanks, smiling mysteriously. Okay, so you use Z and Signal Booster. And let's look for the next nearby spot with a signal. Remember, crashed ships will also show up with the Signal Booster sometimes. And the pods to expand. Okay, let's go look at the beacon. By looking through these, I give a minute for animals to spawn over here, too. And then I'll, I'll look for animals in a second. There's also cave often nearby these things, caves. So if you need to get more cobalt, caves are easier to find by just following the signals. Okay, while I'm looking for that minor settlement, I'm also looking for animals and anything else I can scan. Then point it down where I'm going and use the space bar. That is usually the fastest way to get to a location of the planet. There's 
a landing pad, so that's a free takeoff. E when it turns green. Encrypted navigation data gives us extra nav data. Here we can sell what we got which will also clear inventory space. I'm gonna sell the slime, uh, the fluids, the scoop, the uranium, the magno gold. I'm gonna keep the gold and the rusted metal for the ferrite. I get the facium from the plants, I'll just sell that. So even if I don't find a ship, I already made 1500 nanites and all the units from scanning the animals while looking for crashed ships. Now if you use the maps, you'll find them quicker. But I prefer to explore and uh, get these other benefits as well. Let's pop into outer space and use one of the maps again. Maybe it'll send us to another planet. Tab. to plot round. Okay. We'll go to the abandoned building. That's on a different planet. Now I just need two more and I'll have all the animals on this planet. Final data log awaiting user analysis, terminal now active. Is this what we become? At each turn on my journey I find only more to taint my spirit and my flesh. The fang maws erupt around me when my back is turned. I hear them chattering and spitting. Sometimes they scream sounds that may be words, perhaps my name. I haven't removed my exosuit in many cycles. I'm afraid to look at my own skin. I know it will be seething, pus wet and pitted. I become a vector of infection. The corruption of something ruinous lives in my flesh. Don't come looking for me. Okay, I analyzed the data log and nanites will be left to aid me on my journey. That Atlas Pass comes in handy for a lot of things.
let's fly to the phosphorus. See those selen I think that's selenium over there. We can get some of that too. Because I'm pretty sure we need selenium. Manipulator. Ah, you see the red dot right there? Let's go get that animal. Eight of nine species, we just need one more. And we'll have all the species on another planet, and it'll just be coincidental to the other stuff we're doing. Okay, let's see what we need on this planet. We need one more animal, and it's a common flying animal. So that should be easy to find and will give us another 2,250 nanites. So if it's flying, we should be looking in the sky. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and use the signal booster and look somewhere else. Look, Fay Omega, Fauna, 2,250 more. Now I'm up to 7,000. Journey milestone accomplished. Analyst discovered all species on four planets. That's another thing, you get these milestones every time you do. Now the miner's settlement should have a landing pad, which would be a free takeoff. signal that should be a spaceship that's what we're looking for where is there it is 
need a tag. B-class ship. So this planet is toxic. So I don't know. If you want to know where the crash ship toxic is, protection. there it is. We've already discovered all the species on this planet. Oh well. Alright, we'll recover the ship in a minute. I clamber into the cargo ship and find its black box. As soon as I touch it, a holographic image of a panicked reptilian trader appears. Perhaps it's a message for their superior. Perhaps a loved one. It's impossible to tell as the playback is hauntingly silent. In its final moments, the traitor seems to point at some freshly installed ship tech before dropping to its knees in despair. Alright, I inspect the recently installed ship tech. And I discover the poorly installed tech that caused the crash. I scan its blueprint and can now construct it myself. It's a cadmium drive, and I just need chromatic metal and wiring looms to install it, which I do plan on doing. I return a ship. One of the first things I do is I clear my inventory of stuff because when you salvage a ship, You'll, uh, you'll get stuff in your inventory. Okay, since I'm going to end the episode, I'm return put the pneumonia and the phosphorus on there. Um, the antimatter housing. Okay, let's go salvage the ship. So you go to the ship, you press E to get on the ship. Uh, you'll hit compare and then claim ship. Make sure in your um, in your original ship that you have I mean fuel and everything. So 100%, so that's good. Now it's a B class. Um, I'm just gonna dismantle this and take the chromatic metal and the wiring. So I get a little extra sodium. To be class shield, so that's I don't consider that a big loss. Now the pulse engine requires a hermetic seal and a metal plating to fix. So I make the metal plating and I make the hermetic seal and I repair the pulse engine. Okay, um Now I'm going to go put the wiring loom on my ship to clear inventory space before recovering it. Okay. 
Then I fly the ship to the space station. So with your shield down, you're not ready to fight anybody. K-E, space bar. By the way, this is not a ship that I want to keep. So recovering it is the right move. I mean, salvaging it. Whoops. That wasn't exactly smooth. Now this is worth about 6,800,000. You get roughly 25% of the value. Claim scrap. Notice worth 1,585,000 units. And that is how you recover a ship. Now notice it placed these B upgrades. We go over to the store right next to that. Purchase upgrade models, uh, modules, click sell, 145 nanites and 137. We got most of our nanites from the animals. Now if somebody had landed, I would sell the notice, it, they gave me the recycled circuitry and the subatomic regulators and the spool of nano cables. The idea is for you to sell those and get the money for the scrap from the ship. So we'll sell those in the store here. And then we'll get a count of how much we made. Okay, so we have 11,588,089 units and 8,276 nanites for this episode. So I think, um, I think I have enough footage for a full video. I will probably continue salvaging ships in this um, in this system. Thank you for watching.